Hey, what's up, Amelia here. Let's see what's coming up on Newsbreak. Dr. Seuss controversy. Brisbane's wild weather. And a baby rhino takes its first steps. But first, why don't you hit that subscribe button? If you want to, you know, you don't have to, but we'd appreciate it. You won't be seeing these Dr. Seuss books on shelves for much longer. The children's books were printed decades ago, but they've since been criticised for having racist and offensive images. The company in charge of the books says they won't be printing them anymore, and that sparked some pretty strong reactions. Let's find out what you think. I'm sure you've read a Dr. Seuss book, or at least seen a movie version. The stories are loved for their rhymes, fantastical characters, and positive messages about topics like the environment. Even though Dr. Zeus, real name Theodore Zeus Geisel, died in 1991, his books are still some of the most popular in the world. But recently, a lot of them have also been criticised. Dr. Zeus Enterprises, the company in charge of the books now, says it'll stop selling six Dr. Zeus books as they portray people in ways that are hurtful and wrong. They're referring to racist stereotypes used to portray black and Asian people, as well as other characters. The company says it made the decision after getting feedback from teachers and academics about their impact on young people. While some people have been really supportive, others disagree with the move and want the books to stay. So what do you guys think? So the stereotypes can be negative towards people who've experienced that in their past. They may think it's right, like drawing those things and saying things about them. Mistakes are there for learning, not to be completely deleted. Maybe they should take other protocols because this is avoiding the problem. Like for example, put age limits on books. Yeah, warning would be good just to let parents know, hey, this might have racial stereotypes in it. To delete history is a bad decision because if we still have some of these books here, that will raise awareness in younger kids and they will understand what's wrong and right and they can hope for a better future. Brisbane's been dealing with some pretty wild weather. Heavy rain caused flash flooding, winds brought down trees, and nearly 18,000 homes were left without power. There's been a big clean up today, but much further up north in the state, people are preparing for Cyclone Niren. It's already brought gale force winds, and it's tipped to strengthen to a category three by tomorrow. The first game of the Constellation Cup kicked off in Christchurch last night, but it didn't exactly go to plan for the Aussies. That and more in sport. Yeah, it wasn't the start to the series the Diamonds were hoping for. They've won the Cup seven times in a row, so expectations were high. But the New Zealand Silver Ferns came out strong and the Aussies never quite closed the gap, eventually going down 49 to 44. There were some positives though. Three new Diamonds made their debut tonight and really proud of how they went out there and went about their game. Game two of the series kicks off on Wednesday. Russian teenage snowboarding star Sofia Nadashina has won gold at the Snowboarding World Championships in Slovenia. The 17-year-old has won three gold medals before at the Junior World Championships. But this was her first victory at the senior level and she absolutely blitzed it. Finally, in tennis, Aussies Alex de Menure and John Millman have gone head-to-head -head at the ATP tournament in Rotterdam. The second set of the match saw a spectacular 44-shot rally, which ended in an unbelievable save by de Menure. In the end, de Menure won the bragging rights, 6-1 to 6-4. And now to some delightful newborns of the non-human variety, because who says news can't be adorable? Nobody, that's who. It's cute baby cuteness. Look at this cute little cutie. That'll one day be a very big cutie. The gorilla was born here at Berlin Zoo recently, the first in 16 years. And keepers have just worked out it's a girl. They're hoping that in the future, she'll be able to have her own babies to help out her endangered species. All right, I am so jealous of these keepers in the US. They're hand rearing this one month old North American river otter, which means bottle feeds, playtimes, and plenty of pats and tummy scratches. 
And take a look at this baby black rhino calf born into Ronga Western Plains Zoo in Dubbo. The species is critically endangered, making this little one an extra special creature. She's just taken her very first wobbly steps, but as you can see, she's already getting the hang of the whole walking thing. And I'm about to walk right out of here too, but before I go, I'm gonna hit subscribe. Should probably have done it already. Have you?